said I wanted to cut a 12 inch piece of stock, but it's a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. I'm actually kind of worried about spinning it at 800 SFM, that's about 400 RPM. That's pretty fast for being that big. I'm actually really worried about it coming out, it'll destroy everything. Including my cameras? Including your cameras. <laughs> I'm going to be testing out brand new PCP 25C inserts from Metal. That catastrophic damage starts to happen. You can see why this is one of the best inserts for steel. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tyson at Titans of CNC. And today I've got some of these brand new KCP 25C inserts from Metal, And I'm going to be testing them out by pinch turning this big old piece of steel that I stole from Barry. <laughs> What's going on over here? Hey, hey, Barry. Uh, is that my material? I'm just borrowing it. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about these inserts. This is Kenna Metal's KCP25C coating, which they call Ken Gold. It's great for turning steel. These inserts are very striking looking with a black and gold coating, but it's not just for looks. This insert has multiple layers inside, which gives it protection against heat, chipping, and wear. Oh man, we're about to take some crazy cuts, but before we do, I just want to say real quick, these inserts are $6 a piece. That's right. Canamato is basically giving them away because they want to get them into your hands because once you use them, you're going to know these are the best inserts on the planet. They're going to increase your productivity, your efficiency, and all of it. $6 a piece on our store. And if you haven't gone on our store, make sure you check out the prices. Look at the different inserts. On average, we're about 40% less expensive than all other distributors. So check it out. Boom. So it, breaking it down, when we talk about the way we name a McKenna Metal, KCP25C, you know, you look at that and you say, well, what does that mean? So K, Kenna Metal, pretty easy. C stands for coated carbide. Anything that you see that has a, a C there is going to be a coated carbide insert. The next thing you get to then is the P. What that stands for is what your material class is. So these inserts being made for steel, that's where you get KCP. Then you get into the ISO toughness versus hardness scale, and 25 falls right there in the middle. And that's what this is meant for. This is meant for that kind of do-it-all grade, that workhorse grade that's right in the middle. And then the C at the end, that's what designates this as our new Ken Gold generation. I'm gonna do some pitch turning on this material. It's gonna be awesome. Now that we have our material in the machine, let's get our inserts into the tools, and then I'm gonna get these into the SMX 3100. First launch in our new coating generation, our Ken Gold, the, uh, heavily aimed in this new grade at steel machining. So going out there to attack the steel turning market, you know, really with the new coating, one of the big things we tried to do is really help to fight against that heat because that, that's a killer for any insert. When the heat starts to get through, that coating starts to get down into the substrate and that's really when that catastrophic damage starts to happen. You start to lose your edge and, and you can't keep machining, you gotta index it. We're seeing huge improvements in wear resistance, 150 to 160 percent in what we used to be able to do with those. We're seeing a huge improvement in the thermal properties that it has, being able to protect against heat and, and keep it from cratering out on top. Amazing improvements that we've seen with this versus our old grades. And the other, really the biggest thing that I'm seeing with this is the consistency. We're really being able to put out a very consistent insert, batch after batch. One of the really great things we're seeing with this new generation is not only increases in tool life, but we're seeing increases in productivity. We're able to get those speeds a little bit higher. You know, we're able to push the envelope on that and not only see, you know, more parts coming off the machine getting out the door, but increases in tool life as well. So really it's a win-win. We're able to make the customers more productive, save them money, and you know, just do a fantastic job at it. Now that we have our material in the machine and our tools built out, now let's go cut some chips. Let me explain a little bit about the piece we're doing. The thing with this part is I just wanted something simple to demonstrate the cuts. I have SolidWorks open, I drew a quick little 2D sketch, and then I revolved it to make this model. This is a 12 inch piece of 1045 steel, so I have a 4 inch diameter on this part, so we're taking about 8 inches of material off of the part. And from the side profile here, I wanted enough material on the OD to hold on comfortably to the part. 
But then I took it down in Z to where I would take off as much material as I can without hitting the jaws. And then I gave it a gradual chamfer down to this other diameter. I didn't really design this part with anything in mind other than showing off the insert, but later on I might actually come back to this part to do some test cuts with some end mills. I have the model imported into Mastercam. I have the pinch turning programmed. For the pinch turning, I have this programmed with a variable depth of cut. So I have an initial depth of cut of 30 thousandths, and then I'm gonna tell it to increase the depth of cut 10 thousandths every pass. I split this up into two pinch turning operations. So for the first pinch turning operation, I stop at the eight inch diameter, which is this bigger OD in the middle of the part. And for that pinch turning operation, I have it taking it up to 120 thousandths. So from 30 thousandths all the way up to 120. Now one thing that stood out to me about these inserts was this particular style, the MV style, which is what they call medium versatile. This chip breaker is designed to break chips both when you're doing a heavy cut, but also when you're doing a lighter pass for semi-finishing, finishing passes, or when your depth of cut is uneven and you have a section on your part that's a smaller depth of cut. The amount of engineering that goes into these inserts is insane. But all of these channels and all of these grooves, they're all here for a reason. On this insert, you have open spaces on the side and chip breakers on the nose to help give you a deeper depth of cut and to help the part cut cleanly. There are open grooves on the insert to help evacuate chip. This insert actually has coolant channels on the insert to help direct coolant to the cutting edge. I'm really impressed so far running it without coolant. It sounded like butter and just having nice blue chips coming off. Seeing very small chips, even with the smaller depth of cuts up to the big depth of cuts. Mm -hmm. I can see why this is one of the best inserts for steel. You know, it's funny about the uh, colors being able to pop out any wear on it. You know, you just don't, you wouldn't think about, but that's just like a small detail that's like a big improvement. Especially because I, I can remember like all the times you're grabbing a new insert, having to grab a microscope or a magnifying glass out to inspect things, but yep. being able to just see it at a glance like that that's that's yeah. something really nice but running it without coolant I you know pushing it pretty hard in there yeah <laughs> but also to kind of demonstrate how the MV cuts at the different depths of cut I was getting a nice small chip all throughout that's something you run into a lot with lathe turning is you know having varying depth of cuts and then all of a sudden you get a stringer wrapping around your part exactly. worst case you might scrap the part because of having chips wrapping around and messing with your finishes or tolerances. So sure. that's pretty impressive that I'm, so far I've been able to do this without coolant. Yeah, and, and that's the, you know, that's really the thing with the, the new MV geometry, you know, which MV stands for medium versatile. Uh, really our aim with this was to find a very versatile geometry that can attack that medium you know, machining kind of space. So you've got the edge strength you need to be able to get, like you said, 130, 140,000 stuff to cut. But like you said, we're seeing good, consistent chip control all across that. It's not like it's only good in one spot or the other. So really living up to its name, you know, and its versatility. I, I love looking down in the machine here and seeing those dark blue chips because that, what that tells me is that it's controlling it the way it's supposed to. The coating's working the way it's supposed to. It's getting the heat out into the material. So it's keeping it out of the insert. You know, that insert is just gonna work beautifully. I'm gonna get this thing back up and running and we'll get back to it. Hey, if you haven't already, make sure you check out CNC Expert and make yourself a free profile. It's made for machinists by machinists and you can upload your work, any parts that you've made, even test pieces like the one I'm doing here. You can upload it for free to showcase your work and you can get certified in CAD, CAM, CNC and it helps support free education just like this video that you're watching today. For the second pinch turning operation, it's gonna continue from that point. And from there, we're gonna to go to 140 depth of cut. And then I'm gonna take it up to 200 thousandths per side. Now I said it was increments of 10 thousandths. That's per tool. So one tool is gonna to be doing 30 thousandths. The other tool is gonna to be doing 40 thousandths. And then they're gonna be switching 50, 60, 70, all the way up to 200 thousandths. I'm going to be taking this at 900 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths and that's on both operations, both tools, 
and I'm going to keep those numbers for the whole operation so this tool is going to be hauling. getting a little bit nervous once I saw that it was taking 160, 170, 180. We went all the way up to 200 thousandths for the depth of cut. That's crazy with no coolant and running it at 900 SFM with a feed rate of 12 thousandths. This thing was hauling with no coolant. And look at these inserts. They don't even look that bad. They definitely look discolored because of all the heat that was coming off. I could probably turn the rest of this down if I wanted to. And I want to remind you that these inserts, I ran these inserts, these, this same corner, the entire time on this part, taking all of this material off with no coolant. And I pushed it to the higher end of the speeds and I went over the depth of cut recommendation that Keta Metal gives you. They say for their recommendation, 180 is the max. I took it to 200 thousandths and I ran it at 900 SFM. That's crazy. And best of all, this Rota THW chuck kept it all in place. No matter if I took a 30 thousand step to cut or the 200 thousand step to cut, I was getting these small chips coming off this tool the entire time. And that's what you're looking for when you're machining. These perfect blue small chips, just small enough so they're breaking off and they're discolored so all the heat is pouring off of the inserts onto the chips. So I'm actually really impressed with these inserts. This is definitely something I'm going to be coming back to when I have to turn steel. And actually, Travis has got a part he's programming right now that are using these same inserts. So you're going to be seeing them again soon. We actually have a promo for these inserts on our store right now, starting at $6 per insert. So if I impress you with how these inserts cut, make sure you go check out our store. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you want to see more crazy cuts, if you like what we're about, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. I did not like that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, could, you, could you pick this up for a second? And this, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's fine. Yeah, no, no, what's the, what's the problem? Can you, can you move the part just a hair? Yeah, what's the problem? We just move. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs>